Hey, what's up guys? This is Tech, and this is my first PvP video. Um, I plan on doing a lot more videos for Cataclysm, and they're going to be more than just PvE kills. I'm going to talk about all sorts of things, such as PvP, um, my UI, um, and I'm going to talk more about like guild leadership and rating and all that other cool stuff uh, from my perspective. And This video showcases some of my lead PvP skills. <laughs> Um, I actually have two healers with me tonight, and that makes a big difference. It makes the video a lot more entertaining to watch. Um, the major difference between PvP by yourself and PvP with healers is obviously you die a lot more without healers, and that makes a really crappy, choppy video. So, um, I, I want to focus mostly on the damage that I'm doing rather than the damage that I'm taking. Um, obviously, uh, without my healers with me, I would just, you know, die a lot. Um, but, I PvP entirely in PvE gear. I'm only wearing three pieces that have resilience on them in this video. I'm wearing my gloves, Wrathful, um, and I do that because the gloves for shamans give you a five yard extension on your shocks. I'm wearing my PvP trinket, and I'm wearing a cape so I don't have to put a parachute on my PvE cloak. Other than that, I'm wearing entirely PvE gear, and the reason that I do boils down to the premise of PvP, and that's to kill your opponent before he kills you. And while stacking resilience makes it harder for him to kill you, it also makes it harder for you to kill him. Stacking PvE gear gives you very strong offensive powers, and um, I always believe that the best defense is a strong offense, and that's why I stack my gear the way I do. Um, if you think about any kind of competition, um, a team with the strongest defense in the world um, may end up tying at 0-0 but they're never going to score and they're never going to win. And that's the way I feel about stacking resilience. The other thing is that most people you're going to find in random battlegrounds as opponents are probably wearing only a few pieces of Relentless. Some of them are still wearing Furious, and there are a lot of people who are still wearing PvE gear like you. So if your PvE gear is better than theirs and you're a little bit better at PvP, you're going to win. And Heroic 277s are going to outpower Relentless gear, and they're going to slaughter Furious gear. So, um, I think the numbers in this video speak for themselves, and I know the numbers are a little bit wonky because it's 4-0 and it's not balanced around 80 and blah blah blah, but in my experience, 4-0 um, hasn't been significantly different uh, than 3-3. And this discipline priests are impossible to kill, but aside from that, it's pretty similar. And um, I think it's an improvement for enhancement. And um, enhancement is one of those black sheep specs that not a lot of people play, and that that kind of works to my advantage because a lot of players don't know how to handle me. Um, but I hope this video shows you what enhancement shamans can do, and I hope it encourages more enhancement shamans to start PVPing in 4-0 because it really is a lot of fun, and it's it's a great spec to play in PVP, and it can do a lot of damage. So. Um, I'm going to let you guys bump to the music now, and uh, I hope you like Breakbeat, because that's what this is, and uh, I'll catch you next time.